right, listen up, yeah, because I've got something to say. You know when you're out and you see someone you like the look of, but you're just too scared to go chat to them? We've all been there, and I just want you to know, whether you're a guy or girl, I feel your pain, and I'm with you. Fellas first, let's go. We all know the feeling, when you see a pretty girl and you want to start speaking, but you can't think of anything to say, your mind goes blank and your heart starts beating, so you make your excuses to leave it, telling yourself there's no way to achieve it, ah she's with all her mates anyway, you don't want to disrupt the combo that she's deep in, and so you throw the towel in, and feel a sense of relief as you get another round in, but before long you're scowling, cause you just clocked another guy start prowling, you try and tell yourself not to worry, she'd never get with a guy that ugly, but now she's playing with her hair, and laughing at his jokes and they're not even even funny. What? That should have been you. And if you had balls, then it could have been too. You imagined it all going wrong. But if you just tried, then it wouldn't be true. Now you're kicking yourself on the way home, trying to use everything else as a scapegoat. She wasn't that fit anyway, but you know that you've only got yourself to blame, though. And that's the worst part. You should have moved when you had the first chance. You vow that you've learned your lesson, and if it happens again, you'll talk to the girl fast. If only you could turn back time, you pluck up the courage to go and say hi. But now you never know what could have happened, and you wonder about it for the rest of your life. If only you could turn the clocks back. If only you could have a second go. If only you had taken the chance. Things might be different, but now you'll never know. Right. But yo, girls, I know it's not always easy for you lot either. I think as guys, we get so wrapped up in the way we're thinking, we never really stop to consider what it's like for you lot. So it's only right that we get to hear your side of the story too. Ready? Let's go! You all know the feeling when you're out with the girls at a bar for the evening. You see a guy that you like and start giving off vibes in the hope that they'll reach him. But he just doesn't seem to receive them. No matter how blatant you make it, so you assume he's not into you and go back to chatting to the mates that you came with. Pretty soon another guy approaches, but it's clear he just wants to get lucky. He's not your type, but you're too polite, so you laugh at his jokes even though they're not funny. Pretty soon he can sense that it's hopeless, so he makes his excuses to leave. You're a lead, but it's only at that point you notice the other guy's nowhere to be seen. The night carries on in a similar fashion. You and your friends just want to hit the dance floor, but you can't because it's full of guys grinding and grabbing and using chat up lines you've heard before. Your patience starts wearing thin, and you can even feel your eyelid twitching. You snap at the next guy who comes over, who now thinks all women are bitches. You go home and start asking yourself, why do I just attract losers and creeps? Why was the guy from the start not on it? Maybe there's something that's wrong with me. If only you could turn back time, you pluck up the courage to go and say hi. But now you never know what could have happened and you wonder about it for the rest of your life. If only you could turn the clocks back. If only you could have a second go. If only you had taken the chance. Things might be different, but now you'll never know. But what if we didn't have to wonder? What if we really could turn back time? Would you make the most of it? Or let fear get the better of you? Let's go back now and see just how much better this whole night could have gone. Starting with the fellas, once again. Ready? Let's go. We all know the feeling when you see a pretty girl and you want to start speaking. You feel the fear in your chest, but you do it anyway because these moments are fleeting. You start walking and don't waste your time because you want to get there before you change your mind. She's talking, but you don't want to wait, so you excuse yourself and start saying hi. This might sound a little forward, but I just saw you and I thought you looked gorgeous. And I knew if I didn't come over, I'd be full of remorse for being overly cautious. She pauses. And the silence it causes is awfully awkward But then she says it's nice to meet you And flashes a smile that is practically flawless Girls! You're absorbed in the conversation Cause it's more interesting than the boring questions That you're often faced with in a situation Like what's your name and what's your occupation You chat about all the interests you share As you go and sit somewhere a bit more comfy And now you're playing with your hair And laughing at his jokes cause they're actually funny Your mates come and try and drag you away But you tell him it's okay because you wanna stay It's the first person that you've met in ages You'd actually be happy to see the next day If only you could turn back time then you wouldn't do a damn thing different because you took a risk and it paid off but just imagine for a moment you didn't that's the moral of the story people if you see someone you like the look of just go chat to them because what's the worst that can happen they're not going to shout at you they're not going to throw a drink over you and even if they do at least you've got a funny story to tell